My name is Samuel Kao. I'm a professor of statistics at Harvard University. We're in the era of big data. When, whether we're surfing the internet, doing grocery shopping, or visiting hospitals, our activities are collected by enterprises, organizations, and government agencies, leading to huge volume of electronic data. And this big data offers potential to transform decision making across all sectors. The key question is how? We're working on creating methodology for such purpose. As an example, we worked on using internet data to predict infectious diseases, including flu in the United States and dengue fever, which is a mosquito-borne disease in tropical countries. Traditionally, when a person gets flu, he or she would see a doctor. And based on the number of flu patients seen at the hospitals, the government can estimate the flu severity. However, due to the processing time, typically, the traditional estimate lags behind real time by two weeks, which are far from optimal. Now in the digital age, when someone gets flu, chances are he or she would search online for flu symptoms, flu fever, flu treatment, and so on. From the volume of such flu-related online searches, one can potentially estimate flu severity in real time. However, transforming such intuition into prediction is not easy, and that is where Google flu trend failed. We propose a robust methodology that gives far more accurate flu prediction in real time and weeks into the future by carefully modeling the data generating mechanism as well as the interaction between people and the search engine over time. We then extended the methodology to predict dengue fever and we achieved accurate dengue prediction in Brazil, Mexico, Thailand, and so on. As another example, we're working on creating methodology to analyze electronic health data and to study the causal relationship between diseases and treatments. For example, the side effect of cancer immunotherapy or the complications of neurological diseases. Take cancer immunotherapy as an example. It is a new treatment that works by enhancing the body's own immune system to fight cancer. One potential side effect is autoimmune diseases. We analyze an electronic health insurance data set that covers more than 44 million members and develop a method to study the causal relationship. Applying our method, we find that indeed, compared to chemotherapy, patients on cancer immunotherapy have a significantly high risk, suggesting the clinical need to monitor autoimmune disease in patients on cancer immunotherapy. Big data presents big opportunities for predictive analysis and for decision making. We're working on developing proper and rigorous methods to unleash this potential.